Hi, and welcome to the Lama Take. Hire a bad lawyer and your case might take five years, but hire a great one and it might take 10. Hourly rates aside, let's take a moment to pity the poor lawyers. Now, they aren't the most popular gang in business, and climate folk don't much like them either. These are the briefcase goliaths who protect big polluters, right? Well, if you just give me two of your billable minutes, I'll try and change your mind. Here's the classic net zero playbook. Private companies will provide the carrots, sustainable technologies that can make some money too. And it's left the government to wield the stick, punishing producers who don't get in line. But what happens when that stick is really more of a twig? Well, any first year students can tell you why externalities are tough for the markets to solve alone, up until now. And weirdly, we've got the hedge funds to thank. A few months ago, Gramercy Fund Management announced one of the biggest litigation deals ever, worth $6 billion. And it's all for climate lawsuits. Their lawyers are already running a million strong class action suit over Dieselgate. They've got another 700,000 people behind damages for a dam collapse in Brazil. And here's why that's good news. First, it will force more companies to clean up their act. With big money behind them, climate lawsuits go from a nuisance to a real financial threat. Just ask BP. Their legal bill for Deepwater Horizon came to more than $20 billion. Second, profitable cases will attract more capital. This is already a $16 billion market, and that's set to double by 2030. That's a lot of new green investment. Finally, it will empower climate activists. Big business have always had the upper hand financially. With hedge funds backing for the greens, that can finally change and maybe even attract the best lawyers too. So is this the future of climate enforcement? With polluters running cop and governments dragging their feet, I really do hope so. So, what do you think? Is it time to give the lawyers' jokes a bit of a rest? Let us know your climate take, said by a former lawyer.